Okay, we're there. Sorry about that. Um, had a bit of a, a glitch. Oh, and now the phone's on loud, so don't know what happened there, but it can go off. All right, so here we go. Alrighty. So welcome. First little class for today. Go for about an hour. Um, I'm just waiting for my um, notification to come up. Yep, there we go. And getting in. Hi, Lynette. Finally, it's up and running. Alrighty. Okay, so... Um, after doing lots in here yesterday, lots of little dots and stuff. Hi, Claire. Hi, Suzanne. Uh, looks a little, yeah, another big day. Uh, but looks good. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be good. <laughs> looks little, me, another big day. Okay. Yes, it's going to be a big day. Um, I'll just grab my eyeballs because otherwise I won't be able to see. Hopefully, I don't overheat. Oh, they're grotty. Um, so what we're going to do is this outside one and I'm just sort of thinking as to how I will do it. So bit by bit. Oh, I lost you for a moment. Yeah, I actually had a little bit of a glitch there. It wouldn't turn. The, the video wouldn't turn. So it was a bit annoying. <laughs> so I just cancelled it and then went back in. Okay, so... Now I need to figure out what one I want to do on the outside. Um, I do have silver as well, but um, I think I'll just keep going with the sort of colour range that I'm doing. And I'm thinking into the, the hot pink tone. Um, and I'm just giving it a bit of a shake. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> uh, now... Uh, the brushes have been washed reasonably well, or soaked overnight, so my next thing that um, I'm going to do is around here, okay? And I might make these circles a different colour, but I might do these in the pink. Um, you do tend to, being black, you tend to get every little bit of hair, you see it all. Um, Sometimes it's just fluff coming from the wadding too. So don't sort of freak out if you can't get it all off. Um, there you go. All right, so let's move into getting it done. So again, I'm using from the paint pot lid. Um, and working one side first, getting that color on. I put too much paint on, you know what happens, it um, just goes in where it's a bit gloggy. So we don't want that, so just dip it in the end of your paintbrush. Don't add water to it unless you want it to be runny, which I don't. Um, and it will stand up to washing uh, best as an art piece only. Uh, yeah, so heat set, yes, K, uh, Sue, Sue K, and um, it will definitely be able to be washed. So it's heat settable, and once it's on there, trust me, it is there for a very long time. Um, it does not come off. So um, be warned if you get it on your clothes, it is a fabric paint and it is designed to stay. <laughs> Even if you didn't iron it, uh, it would um, pretty much be near impossible to get out. All right. Just the heads up. So if you wanted to do these as a quilt as you go, well, I did say that yesterday, very, very capable of doing them as a quilt as you go. I did show you guys yesterday some Mandela 
stencils that I have for sale. If you're wanting to see them again at the end of this, please just ask. I am happy to show you again. Um, I still have some in stock. The pre-printed ones, which is what this was, um, are still on their way from the States and knowing the condition of the uh, uh, postal services across the world at the moment, I'm sure they will be still weeks away. Hi Julie, how are you going? I hope you're keeping well. Now you can also um, change the shading on these. You can mix your paints, so the colours, and make different colours. Um, don't be frightened to experiment, but do experiment on a sample part of fabric first. And just remember, if you're going to be working on a black fabric, sample on a black piece of fabric. If you're going to be painting on white, sample on white. So make it relevant for the piece of artwork you're going to be doing. I don't use expensive brushes with um, fabric painting because um, expensive brushes just get ruined. So these are just your, you know, your ten, fourteen dollar packs. Um, I think I've got. Oh, I think I've got two packs left of these, and they're $14 for about five of them, um, different different sizes, and they're quite good. That you don't don't use um, hog hair brush; they're too too coarse. You need something a little bit softer. Mary's going to get me one of those brush sets so I can show you before the end of the thing. She doesn't have to do it straight away. <laughs> So Mary's in here today. She's doing a bit of a stock take. I'm hoping she doesn't fill her car too much up with stock when she's taking it. <laughs> um, and the other day, I think I was late to... Yeah, sure, Lynette. Yep, I can do that. Um, the other day when I came on, I was a little bit late um, because I had a bit of a dilemma with one of the lambs. It's a late, late lamb. Um, didn't even know it was coming. Um, obviously the ram's a bit slow off the mark. Anyway, yeah, it had the had the snots and it was all, you know, not good. And I uh, cleaned its face up and, you know, picked all the bits off it and I think it was... You know, they're disgusting. They're very cute, but they're disgusting. <laughs> so anyway, I've done all that, picked it all off and cleaned up its face and gave it a wash and everything. And and then yesterday, uh, sort of caught it again and did it again. And this morning I went out to go and catch it. Uh, can't catch it. It's now feeding off its mum. And I think there's only two packs, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, feeding off its mum and I can't catch it. So that to me means it's well enough that it doesn't need me to go picking at its face again. <laughs> I did ring the, the vet. I was a bit disappointed, actually. Um, the vet in Bannockburn, um, I suppose it's not their fault, I suppose. I don't know. But anyway, I, I rang them and, and sort of said, I've got a, a lamb, you know, that's um, got a farm and got a lamb that's uh, got the snots and probably need some antibiotics because it's, you know, a bit swollen around the mouth and everything and having trouble feeding. And um, her response was, well, if you haven't been in here in, in 12 months, in the last 12 months, um, we can't give it to you. So be buggered that the lamb is going to suffer. But we haven't seen you in 12 months. We can't give you the antibiotics. <laughs> she said, you can bring the lamb in. And I just went, well, that's not going to happen. That means I've got to take it off its mother. I said, it's in the paddock with its mother. I said, it's bad enough I've got to handle it. No, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I was really disappointed. That was disappointing. I went, oh, okay, fine. It's some class something, class C drug or something, I don't know. But anyway, I just thought it was really dismal. Bad customer animal relations, that was. My apologies, she said, but... Mm. Can I please have one of those brush sets? Folk art brushes, yeah, they can work, absolutely, um, Suzanne. Uh, yeah, so this is them. 
clear. I'll um, pop one of those sets in there for you. It's got a couple of different sizes uh, that I, you know, use. So I will pop them aside for you. You can pop Claire George's name on those for me, love. And pop them in her basket of goodies. So now that's my animal dilemma today, which is not really a dilemma because now it's really good. She's she she being the lamb is eating that's a bloody joke you pay an arm and a leg to get help let the help i would go and see a vet himself herself for a little chat i yeah you know i stopped going to that vet a while ago for the fact that they're just so expensive you know i i and i go to one in ballarat now um, and i'm sure if i was going into ballarat that I would have, because I was going to get Mary, she goes through Bannockburn on the way, and I haven't been to the Bannockburn vet for a couple of years. So um, I sort of thought, well, Mary could pick it up on the way, which means I wouldn't have to go into Ballarat to go and get it, because I've got all these classes and everything. So I'm thinking, okay, well, how do I get this? All right, so no one's coming from Ballarat way until maybe tomorrow, or my daughter could bring it this afternoon. But the fact that now I can't catch the lamb <laughs> is a good sign. <laughs> and I've seen it feeding because my biggest concern was with a really, really sore, swollen lips that it wasn't going to be able to, um, you'll have to turn that on silent, um, it wasn't going to be able to feed. So this morning um, I sort of had a look for it. I sort of went to go and get it and her and the mother just ran. And then... I thought, right, well, you're okay. And I had to go back out and go to the bank, so or post office, and um, post something and deposit some money. And I, as I come back, I can see it feeding from its mother. And that's the first time I've actually seen it feed. So, And it was tail wagging and the whole kit and caboodle. So it's obviously okay. But it was disappointing that, you know, in the time that you're saying, well, look, this lamb is not able to eat properly, um, this was... You know, from yesterday is what I could see from the day before. Um, they sort of went no. It was a bit disappointing, and I haven't been I haven't been anywhere because I'm stuck here. <laughs> Go get some and keep in the fridge. They last for a good while. Uh, could I grab a set of brushes too? Yeah, Lynette, uh, Lynette. Yep. So Mary will grab those. Acid rum on. Yeah. You know what, um, Michelle? Unfortunately, um, with this one. It had like, if I had a rub fix on its nose, oh my God, Suzanne, I'm just reading your thing. Um, oh, we've got another one, yes. have we? Oh, so we've got one more. So that one there is for Lynette Cherry. Cherry. Um, I'm just reading Suzanne's. My dog was bitten by a snake and unless I paid up front, they wouldn't do anything. It took him to RSPCA. Oh. They couldn't save him. Oh, poor baby. That is disgusting. Disgusting. That is putting money before. Imagine if they did that with people. Well, they do that in America. Um, you don't have insurance. You don't get fixed. Um, that's disgusting. But you know what it is? An animal is classed as a belonging. Not a part of the family. So, you know, when that lady was feeding my dog and not sending it home and actually keeping it there in her house, locked in her house, so Serena couldn't come home and we had to go and get it, um, well, she, that's actually theft of the dog because she's not allowing the dog to come back. Now we've got the gate because hubby's a, a fencer, so those who need a good fencer. Um, he's finally got the fence done around that area and looks fabulous. And the gate, it's going to eventually be um, button control. And we'll get there eventually. I know Mary's like, yay. Um, at the moment, we just have to tolerate it um, without that. But um, yeah, so now she doesn't go anywhere because she's too fat <laughs> to jump the fence. And... Um, too lazy to go under and the fence is new so she can't can't stretch it and go under <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah you, they are they like 
you know, um, I've got a pet sheep, Lulu, um, and even though she lives out in the paddock with the others, when she doesn't have a lamb, only when she's got a lamb with her, she doesn't want to know me. But when she doesn't have a lamb, uh, when she has a lamb, she becomes just like everyone else. Won't even look at me or talk to me. She's an absolute bugger. And then when she doesn't have a lamb, I'm I'm her I'm her mama, and she talks to me. I'll call her out, and she's blah, and she eats with her mouth, talks with her mouth full, and calls me, and hears my voice. That she she was hand reared. I mean, I brought her up from the time hours after she was born she was she'd be dead she was on the side of the road literally side of the road with a wet umbilical cord to me she is no different than um, any other pet that I have even though she lives in the paddock if she could she'd live in my yard <laughs> but um, then I wouldn't have those lovely photos to post about my garden um, yeah no it's just, she's a she's a pet and to me they're family not a belonging as in a handbag is a belonging to me something living is not a possession like a handbag do you know what I mean like I get it I understand why they do that farmers have to have it that way I suppose so that when someone steals their stock which does still happen believe it or not people still do uh, cattle and sheep wrangling they do steal them and horses they are classed as a possession and uh, so then the police can actually charge them with the right fines I suppose so what I'm doing here is um, Oh yeah, that woman is mad and she, what she did by locking her in the bathroom all day instead of just leaving her be and she would have went home. Exactly right, Julie. I'm so sorry for your loss. I know, that that's awful, Suzanne. That is really horrible. I cannot believe that a vet... A vet is no different than a doctor except they understand how the animals work but they have a, a duty of care to the animal before financial gain. In, in my opinion, you would think, well, if they don't, then they shouldn't be in the industry. That's my thing. That's what I think. See, if I was that vet in Bannockburn, I would have went, yep, no worries. We haven't got you on the system uh, for the last two years. Um, I can see that you need this urgently. I will organize that for you. And when you get a chance, just drop in, update your details, um, and let us know, you know, what animals you got and blah, 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 and whatever else, you know. And then I could have gone in and said, look, thank you very much. Just keep me on the mailing list, but, you know, I go to Ballarat. It's, it's easier. It's closer. But, no. Can, no can do. Protocols. Nanny state. And as far as a snake bite, good God, what doctor, vet, and they go to school longer than a normal doctor, you know that? Like it takes them longer to get their degree than a normal GP. we're almost through one it's taking a little while so we might get maybe half of it done we'll see how we go I'm scooting along but you know yes I agree the poor dog was suffering fifteen hundred dollars for the anti yeah and see you know if they had have done it straight away right vets oh well oh. Michelle just said, vets charge like wounded bulls, never found a cheap one. No such thing as a cheap vet. Um, but you know what? I reckon Ned Kelly still rides in the shape of veterinarian. In the shape of a veterinarian. Um, yeah, the vets were your friends, uh, as who you know, and, and they would. If you were struggling financially, you know, because their aim of their life was to, you know, help wounded or sick animals... Um, financial gain is a byproduct of it and you're right Gidget and you know 
fifth, uh, that's why they, they didn't want you, because if they knew that if they couldn't save your dog, that you, you might not pay the anti-vaccine thing, <laughs> because they didn't do what they said they were going to do. But, you know, if they, they knew you for as long as they know you, they would know that you're a good person and that you would pay the bill, even if you had to pay it off. Yeah, and I just, yeah, I just think it's, um, a lot of things have gone that way these days, and I get it, they've got to make an income and a living, but gee, I don't see vets driving around little gets, little Hyundai gets or anything like I do, <laughs> although I do have the old Nissan Patrol, which I do love, my Nissan. Um, so glad those paints came in from um, the wholesaler the other day. I've got sets of these um, paints in smaller little what they call exciter packs. So if anyone is interested in those, Mary's going to grab me some exciter packs um, and um, I'll show you. Because these paints in these little tubs, they're like $10 a piece, right? Which I do have some left. Yeah, Lumia, and there's another one. Yeah, these are the metallic. $45 for the metallic. And then you have, no, they're textile. There's a yellow pack just there, yeah. Yep, that's it. And then, oh no, that's the yeah, opaque. Okay. No, that's, uh, yeah, no, that's it, that's it, I think so, Lumiere and the opaque, oh, yeah, no, that's not it, no, yeah, just to the bottom in front of you, no, right, the first cubby hole, down, is that the one you gave me? That's the Lumiere. Yeah. And then you got the ne oh yeah, this has got the neopaque one, so the opaque one. So this is a mixture of the pearlescent and the metallic, and some black and white. That's that one. Yeah. Um, oh, up the top. Sorry, up the top. In the middle, the, the middle cubby hole. No, go across one. There's a there's a white box there. There are some great vets though. We're super lucky with ours. Um, had yeah. <sighs> See, these ones here are another pack, $45, and they come with the majority of those colours that I'm using, pretty much. Um, eight gorgeous metallic colours. And then you've got this one, which has nine. Um, this is the Exciter pack. Okay. And these are all $45 each. Um, hang on, I've just got to scoot. I can't see what the There are some great bits. Um, I saw this is while having the boys went off to folks. Yeah. Yeah, look, there's, there's a lot of good. Yes, I'll grab that set for Lynette. Yeah, the Lumiere for Lynette Cherry. Um, the Exciter Pack. Yep. Um, Lynette Cherry. Yep. So, thanks, Lynette. Yeah, I think that um, I've got a good vet now. I have um, a lady that I know locally that I occasionally call, um, only because she's really retired, so I don't like to annoy her. Um, but the vets in Ballarat have been great in Sturt Street. Um, they're not cheap, uh, but geez, they look after the animals. And if I was to ring them up and say, look, my animal is really sick, my dog or my cat or whatever, kids, huh? Um, they would go, and I can't pay it straight away. Can I pay it off over the next two weeks or three weeks? And they'd go, yep. Yeah. Good morning, um, Arlene. Could I please purchase a metallic pack and a yellow pack? Okay, so the metallic, which is, yeah, another one of those. And... 
just make sure there's not a double up too much of the color wise so for you um oh Lynette this is so relaxing can I get you to grab another one of those exciter packs for me doll yep just because I want to double check those colors and make sure that they're not doubling up too much yeah so the I got the exciter packs because they're quite a good way to get the color like but without you know outlying like you know two three hundred dollars so I'm just having a look okay so the Lumiere this one which is a blue pack I just got for um, Claire was it Claire Lynette, Lynette sorry um, is this one here the metallic one has this is the metallics this one um, and that has all the others including the white metallic and pearlescent whites in there so it has um, I think there is I'm just double checking they're all different colors so you'll be fine yeah got the turquoise oh, there's a turquoise double up and the violet double up but and yeah, that's that's it. Halo pink. Oh, and a pink. So that's not too bad. Oh no, there's another one, pewter. So there's a few double ups in this. So not sure if you want to get both. Um, or whether you'd like to get that and then buy. Yeah, so these are metallic. Um, I have my toy poodle in for con uh, con cataract surgery in Sydney. Six grand. So Eileen, yeah, the pearls... The pearls are not metallic, so this one's a metallic gold, this this one here, and they're a little bit different, they, they work exactly the same, they're just a different colourway. So you've got metallic uh, russet, pewter, and then in this one you've got metallic gold, oh these are all metallics. No, they're all metallics and pearlescent. I'm just double checking. Mm. Same sort of thing. Just a different colourway. So this has got the, the white in it and this one doesn't. Um, the, two, the two packs will be fine. Okay. There is another option before I go giving you that there is oh this one's got different ones in it it's got metallic olive green oh pearlescent these have got different colors in it so what about this one because this has got the bronze copper olive metallic gold and a white and it's also got a black and white which is um, an, um, the opaque so I reckon that these two if you're gonna buy them would be better than getting that one and the other one so I'll pop these two in your, your kit Eileen yep for Eileen McNeely yeah so um, I'm just answering Claire's questions yeah, you got um, the exciter packs do have some metallics in them not all of them but like I say, you can buy the individual tubs. Yeah, I think so, Eileen. I th I've, I've picked out the one. Oh, sorry, I've just I made an executive decision. I picked out the one I thought you would like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that bossy little piece, aren't I? All right, I'm just coming away around this side. Uh, Eileen wouldn't have a thing out yet because oh. she hasn't purchased this week. Um, so, yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. I think there was a tub over here at the end of the table, green one up the top there that you could use. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, for those who don't, know what we do here when we have orders we have a whole heap of tubs <laughs> and each tub has a name your items go in that tub if your tub it gets over full we swap it for a bigger tub <laughs> um, but you've got a name on the tub 
um, and that comes off every week, of course, because, you know, one week you might not purchase anything or two weeks or whatever, and then the other week you might go mad. So we, we um, swap them around according to the customer's needs and what they purchase. And at the moment, we have all these tubs all over the floor, all over the table, all in front of the coffee area, which is disastrous because we keep tripping over them. Um, and uh, they've all got names on them. But at the moment, I reckon, what, you reckon there's about 60? 50? Oh, yeah. At least 50 or so. Um, maybe. So we're tripping. Yeah, about something like that. So we're sort of doing the trip over thing. Mine must be as big as a skip pin. <laughs> the smallish bottles, they appear to go a long way. Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely, Claire. They do go a long way. Well, you can see how much I use. And like I say, if you're starting out, you're not sure you're going to like it, it's better to spend your $45 than $200 on buying one of each colour. You know, um, if you're not sure you're going to like it. Uh, I only just got these in. It is cheaper to buy the tubs because you get more for your buck, more bang for your buck. But in saying that, if you only ever use them once or twice and you never touch them again or you paint a pair of sneakers with them, um, you know, that's all you end up doing, then $45 is a better spend than it is to spend $200 on paints you'll probably hand down to your grandchildren. So, you know, that, that's how I look at it. I sort of look at it at a better cost for you. So that's why I got the Exciter Packs. I've never had them before until just the other week I got them in. Um, you know, knowing uh, Gidget ordered them just before because um, she knew this, this was all coming up, all this painting and everything. So she ordered in early and got them. I hope they've, they've arrived. Um, anyway, um, she... Um, got one uh, got the the nice big big ones and um then i had these come in and she's sort of concerned so i sort of spoke to her and said no you're fine you've got the right ones um because i know that you'll use them because i know what she, she makes and does and she does some amazing work um yeah but if i don't think that you're going to actually um do much of it um, I would, wouldn't suggest to buy the tubs of. And to top it off, they last for ages. Like, they don't really dry out, do they? Um, uh, oh, I've just gone, lost, gone blank. Mary? No. No. They, and right. you can add a little bit of... It's all right, I went blank. Um, you can add a little bit of water to them if, you, if they do tend to clag up a bit and thin them out. As long as you've got the lids on properly, you'll be laughing. Otherwise, I'll go concrete. <laughs> like any paint. So, you can do an embroidery in your embroidery machine. You know, those ones that I'm, I'm waiting for this stupid embroidery company to give me all the, pro, you know, the formats. I've got to ring them, actually, because... They're just being ridiculously ignorant. Um, and then I can put them up on the website. Those d designs that I drew, um, even if you were to... Um, and I'll get them in, into a, a um, digital format for um, embroidery machine. Even if you were to stitch them out and then paint them, you could use this. Coming good, we're getting there. Second one, I reckon I'm only going to get two done at this rate. I'm way too slow. And I talk too much. <laughs> um, do I have any of these panels, Janine? Janine, I've got two of these put aside for you, honey bun. I've just been waiting until I go into town or see you, but I haven't. Um, so you put two aside, I don't even think I sent you an invoice because it was only two and I thought I'll wait until you add to it, but you haven't. So if you'd like, I can send that invoice off to you 
and um, I might be able to get them to you. I could get them to Dotty. I'll probably see Dotty tomorrow. If not, it'll be next week. Yeah, enjoy the conversation and watching. It's great, very relaxing. Um, <laughs> thanks, um, Gidget. So, uh, yep, Janine, that's fine. Um, I'll organise to get them if Dottie, like I say, if Dottie comes up tomorrow, depending on her back, I've told her not to come if her back is still sore. There's a silly bugger put it out the other day doing something and she doesn't know what <laughs> and uh, I told her to stay home because she was you know talking about coming in so I said no um, so she stayed home which is good she needed to relax that that back and those muscles um, So, and I just got your message. The answer is yes. It's amazing how nice the gold looks, isn't it? It's really lovely. So amongst everything else, I was asked to do a portrait, <laughs> uh, a painting, um, on a canvas, of course, and um, I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I'm not really, you know, people kind of portrait painter, <laughs> so um, I'll give it a go, I said, as long as you're not in a hurry, yeah, yeah, no, that's all right, a week later I get another message saying, how's that portrait going, I said, yeah, no, no it hasn't started. Uh, <laughs> um, people are funny uh, they just think it sort of happens without any forethought <laughs> and and painting like things like that you've really got to be in the right frame of mind and mood it's an emotional thing would you say that Mary? Yeah. if you're not in the mood to paint and then you've sort of Enforced to do it, nothing will go right. It gives you the ear it's in. Radox and the face washer and hot water bottle works wonders for the lamb. Yeah, uh, why my biggest concern was because the lamb's lips were quite swollen, um, it had a little wound on the top lip, so it's cut itself. So I don't know whether it's got caught in something or it was a scab and it's fallen off created the cut type thing not too sure because you never know what they get themselves into um, and the lips were quite swollen so and because it was and I didn't want to 
put too much on it and then have the mother reject it because of the smell. Because um, I wanted to put tea tree on it today, um, but I couldn't get it. And when I put yesterday, I put some stuff on it, Thieves, which is like a antibacterial type. It's um, You can use it on anything. It's um, a... Um, oil like a natural oil product um anyway i thought well i don't have any tea tree with me so i'll i've got that nearby so i'll grab that so i pop that on it just with the diluted down of course so anyway i did that and of course when it went back to the mother carrying on the mother sort of sniffed at it and went where are you being <laughs> so, who have you been talking to you smell a bit strange and and then she started talking to it. That was all good. But um, I was a bit frightened that if I put too much or handle it too much, the mother might crack it and just go, no, yeah, too much human intervention. I don't know you. You don't smell like mine anymore. And that can happen. That can, especially considering she's a maiden. Um, she's fiercely defendant of it, which is just beautiful to see. She just, yeah, you come come near the lamb and, the little, you know, the little dogs get in the pad, and they're not going to do anything to the lamb or anything. They're just sniffing around trying to eat lamb poo <laughs> and um, sheep poo. But um, yeah, the the um, the ewe, she's like the mama. She's going uh, no, nah, and she's charging and stamping her foot at him and racing over and all sorts of things. Yes, yeah, so it was lovely to see her be so protective, being a first time mama. Sometimes they're not. So a flat edge brushed, whether it's got a um, wedge sort of shape to it or not, will give you a sharper edge on your paint lines. Okay, so just so you know, if you're trying to get a sharp edge along here, like that, and you want to work it in, having a flat edge brush will do it. A rounded brush like this. Oh, for my back. Um, any muscle problem? Uh, no, it's, it's, um, Dottie's back. My back's buggered, but I'm going to go and see me, um, physio woke next Monday, if all going well. Um, no, I don't know what she, I think she's, she's gone to see her Cairo, which is probably something I'd never do because I don't like Cairo's, but anyway, personal preference. Um, and she, she's been seeing him for a long time and trusts him, so that's fine. She's gone to see him and normally she says after, a, a, you know, one or two episodes with, with them, she's pretty good. So I'm not too sure what else she's done for it. She's got to be careful what anti inflammatory she takes because she's on other tablets that won't, won't play nice with them. Um... I'm not sure. Yeah, so getting back to these brushes, if I was to try and do this along the edge, it would flare out, like it would it would um, separate. Um, you can see that these separate too. But because of the edge of the the um, the brush, it separates in the right shape. Oops, a bit of a blob. Okay, I'll just sit that there. Turn around, what time is it? Oh yeah, we've got another 15 minutes. We'll just keep going. I can see, you know, from this angle, I can see I've missed spots and things like that. So I'll get into them now before I um, do any more because I won't be able to come across from this angle because this will be all wet. So if I do that now, I um, 
I'll save myself a world of hurt later. Always remember that paint dries lighter than when it's wet. That's why you'll see dark and light bits sometimes in these because some is still wet and the other is not. Banging and clanging is um, them getting the floor ready for next door. I think we've got the wood coming today to finish off the footings, which is lovely. Be able to get all my stuff out of here, personal stuff that I do, and my long arm, and have a really big room. Which means we'll be able to social distance. Um, yeah. Nice. Moving along to the next one. Oops, painted over the stitches. Oh no, there's... <laughs> oh no, that means more fabric. No, no, it actually means more room for uh, us to move and walk around. Um, because all my stuff will be stored in a different area. Uh, that means I can get um, get the, you know, the boxes of stuff and everything. Because I've got these little crates and stuff like that. Bolts off the floor, so, you know... They're still in packages, but they're on the floor, and sometimes we stand them up in containers on the floor because we've got no room on shelves, and it just means I can get some organisation going on. Get another table, make it really long, so we can have a big, long table. I've already got a big, long table, but I'm going to make it bigger. <laughs> so um, It'll widen the room right up. We'll have a toilet up here, which will be brilliant. Um, means that people don't have to walk down to the house and see my grotty house because <laughs> they don't have time to clean it. <laughs> I've got a daughter that says she's going to because she wants to get some money for pocket money and then she wants an advance and then she doesn't do it and then her mother realises it's not happening again. <laughs> that happened the other day. Mum, I got, I was going to do the cleaning, this is last Thursday, and because I, I pay her for cleaning, you know, she, she cleans the whole house for me, and the vacuuming and mopping and bathrooms and all that sort of stuff, bathroom and all that sort of stuff, I pay her for it because she's doing year 12, she's working part time, she needs, she's just got herself her license, so she needs petrol and rather than just giving her numerous amounts of dollars without working for it, I'm making her work for it. So, anywho, I said to her, look, that's okay as long as you do it. Yeah, yeah, I will, I promise. And I believed her first time ever, thinking, you know, that she'll, she'll come forward and do this. The other day she did some, I don't know, dishes or whatever and vacuumed and that was about it and I'm looking around the place it looks like nothing's been clean so I'm gonna have to get into her and go mm, 
If you ever want a advance on money again, it's not going to happen until you've done the job. Lesson learned by mummy. <laughs> it happens. Teenagers, hey. But she's a very good girl. <laughs> um, your bank balance just shuttered. <laughs> That's okay, Debbie. We're still here for another 10 minutes or so. You can always watch back and have a listen into the the uh, conversation if you want to or fast forward through the rubbish um, you think your bank balance shutters you should see mine <laughs> mine just goes frozen with fear I think <laughs> is it fight fight flight or freeze <laughs> mine, mine just goes <gasps> Don't move, don't make eye contact, and she won't know we're here. And Rod's having a conniption, um, Mary. <clears throat> Just poking my head in quickly, no worries. <laughs> um, Rod, Rod's having a conniption at the moment because he hasn't got a bank card to the new bank account, and he's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how much money we got. I don't know what we're doing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I'm like, seriously, dude. Well, how much is in there? I've got nothing in my account. You need to transfer. The <laughs> All right, love. I'll transfer it over because the um, business account is in my name. <laughs> so now, guess who has to ask for money? <laughs> Wouldn't that just Roger Sox? <laughs> So today we got the cards finally, so he'll be a happy boy. <laughs> uh, dear, funny. Very funny. He was a bit stressed. I said, you've got control issues. <laughs> I said, you need to get over it. So if you notice, I'm really just dipping into the end of the branch. Uh, what colour is that one, Michelle? Uh, this one is called Pearlescent Magenta. So the Pearlescent will make it seem lighter on the screen. It is fairly light. Um, but I'm going to come in with another colour um, and this will be on the next video and um, I'm going to sort of uh, put some low lights in and some sparkly stuff so I've just got to get through the main painting so it does take a while This part of it does anyway because it's quite a big area. And it's a bit swirly. So when I finish this one, um, I'm going to work out a price. Mary, my my um, <laughs> my financier over there is going to help me work out a price. Um, 
on how much to sell this one for. So when I finish it, I'll probably prop it up for sale. Um, and I'll let you know. It's a nice little piece. Might not suit your colorings, but um, might be a good gift for someone. And the only thing would be is that this doesn't have a backing. It is two layers of wadding. So you could throw it into a quilt if you wanted to, um, or a pillow, or whatever you like, or wall hanging, um, whatever, whatever suits. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll update you in the next few days on that. And um, yeah. Because it's got, I've got a little bit to do to it yet. But I think... Oh, uh, if you're wondering what other colours you are going to use. Um, we need a yikes button. <laughs> it looks lovely. Uh, man, internet banking was the worst thing I did. He now sees everything we have and everything I spend. Oh, Michelle! Good morning, ladies. As I was held up with meetings, that's okay, Judy. Um, yeah, we need a yikes. Yeah, uh, that's beautiful, Michelle. The colours. Um, I've got a pearlescent violet. I've got a gold. I'm using the blue, which I think is a pearlescent blue, and um, that's about it at the moment. So these are from Lumiere. Uh, gave mine a credit card. Worst thing ever. He has no idea about money. Goes through his hands like, well, yeah, they do that. Mine is an absolute tight bottom. I could say it the other way. Tight A. So he is as tight as they come. He hates if I spend money. <laughs> so he's going to hate seeing what I spend on. <laughs> but what we've got is... Um, We've also got, because um, we do wages for ourselves as well, not that I'll ever get paid, but anyway. Um, yeah, he, um, <laughs> he'll he be able to see what goes in and out of this account for this business, which has not happened before. Normally, he wanted to make sure that this business was making money and not you know, taking money out of his business, like one holding up the other, which it doesn't happen. So he was like, you know, I don't want to have my money from what I do go into the fence, the fencing money to go in. Because, you know, I don't want this blah, 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 blah. Anyway, long story short. Very long story short. That was a bit of hair there. Um, so now the accountant's gone, mate, you've got a company now. You need to put all finances into one bank. It needs to be simplified. It's way too bloody difficult. <laughs> and what are you doing? So now the accountant says that we can do that. He wants to do that. So we've done it. But the accountant's put it all in my name. I don't know why, but he did. Um, and not in his name. <laughs> um, and there's no reason for that that I know of. Um, but I think it was just easier because I do... A lot of you know banking and stuff like that so you know rod just doesn't do that and i do all the invoicing so i think it was just easy to have it in my name so poor rodney he's been sitting there for the last three four days telling people to pay into this new account which we don't yet or didn't have until today new cards for so <laughs> the money's just been going into that account and of course he hasn't had access Oh, and guess who has no money for beer? <laughs> but the beauty of it is, um, well, now he's going to have um, his money. He's going to be able to use that card. So that's going to be good. Yeah. All right. So it's hit 12 o'clock. So I've still got one more little thing to go. And... I will do that on the next one. So I'll stop here now. Oh God, he must go nuts watching this and go out for go. <laughs> what is going out for fabrics? Oh, he has no idea. <laughs> no idea. He will though. He'll see. 
and it'll drive him crazy because he has he has no say in it <laughs> so it's gonna drive him nutty but anyway i don't have any say in what he does so you know he, he he needs to buy things he buys things i need to buy things i buy things all righty if i don't have the money for it i don't isn't that right pete that's right, that's right. <laughs> All right, so we're up to, we've got one more to go, and then I'm going to do some um, shadowing just to give it a little bit more depth because it, no beer money. I oh, know, ready, <laughs> no beer money, oh my God. So this is ready, or not almost ready, to go the next step to do the shading, and then I'll put in some, I'll, I'll work some of that gold into it as well. And then, uh, then that, then after that, the next one will be out of border, which is going to be pretty basic. Um, and then, then it's done. I can see I've got a little bit of a mist there, so you know the touch-ups and things like that, which I'll do. So next time we're going to paint this, we'll do this one. Then we'll do some shadowing around the outside, embellish with some gold, and um, yeah, we're almost there. Will we all need beer money? <laughs> it, I just looked at my watch and it says 610. New battery or watch? New watch. <laughs> all right, ladies. Uh, chat to you soon. Um, I'll see you at 2 o'clock with a live sale. Um, yeah, he will go nuts with no beer, yeah. Um, and uh, it'll all be pre-cuts. So maybe some more fat quarters and um, some pre-cuts stuff. All right, so chat to you soon. Bye.